So here's two of my uh, Amomorphalis konjac uh, coming into bloom. You can see Ziggy's taking an interest in the fragrance, which proves that dogs will smell anything. Pretty horrific up close. And then here they are a day later, opening up even more. And uh, as you can see, coming out of the soil, big thick stem. This one actually flopped over for a moment. I didn't see it. And uh, got a little bent, but still cool. So this little one was about a pound and a half size corm. Um, and that's a couple feet high. You can see down into there. They just had a little, little sprinkle here. And this is about a two and a half pound corm. Um, I have it in a five gallon pot, not, not full of soil, but um, I'll add more a little later once the flower dies back. Um, and you can see that neat stem, all the spotting, just a really neat looking flower. Of course, it smells horrible, um, which is, I don't know, is that why we grow these? No, we just, they look cool. And it's not a single flower, this is actually a composite flower. So when you look down inside, these rows up top are all individual male flowers. And then down in there, hard to see, are rows of female flowers. And so the female flower um, is available to the pollen for just one day. And in, the thing is that the pollen ripens and matures and is ready the day after. So a single flower will never, even though there are all those individual microflowers in this composite flower, none of them will be able to be self-pollinated. So the best thing to do is to have one that flowers earlier, collect the pollen, uh, put it into a Ziploc, put it in the freezer, you know, use a brush and do that. And then when the other is mature, and you can actually tell by the smell that it's mature. They only smell really horrible for about a day. Um, but when it's ready, then you can take the pollen and then paint it little paintbrush and we just you know dabble it on onto those female flowers when they're ready they are not I can't tell if these are ready or not uh, but it's not smelling as much so it actually may be getting past they are of course outside because of the smell uh, not going to be inside so you might be able to deal with it but I sure can't um, nor would the rest of the family so uh, and we're headed up into a couple of freeze days um, going down to the low 20s even in the morning so these will probably go into this uh, detached garage right behind it where nobody lives so they'll even if they get stinky not a problem so anyway these are really neat flowers um, in 7a 7b zone they would actually naturalize in the in the garden and I may go ahead and put a couple in and see how they do and in the spring with our little daffodils and so forth you can also get some of these big stinkers coming up. Probably not for the front yard. I don't know, it may not be friendly with the neighbors. But And then actually, here you go. These are just the corms. This was before they opened up, when they started to shoot up. Um, so you can see Ziggy giving a watchful eye, saying, what is this coming? And then here are a couple of corms that are just coming into, they're vegetative. Um, these are smaller, they wouldn't be making flowers. These will just be making, going right to the leaf. And so they haven't come up yet. The leaves come after the flowers die back on mature corms. On the ones that aren't ready to flower, it's gonna be the first leaf first and that'll come in about a month. These are just starting to push now.